Hi there! Welcome to the new video of F1 News. In this video, we will discuss the Mercedes secret weapon. Also, we will give you a little insight into the situation in the championship and how is Mercedes dealing with the issues. Find all this in the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any updates. The 2022 season has introduced some of the biggest changes in car designs throughout history. The main regulation of the 2022 season, which was originally supposed to be implemented in 2021 but could not happen due to COVID-19, was closer racing with more overtakes. For the viewers, this means more thrilling and exciting races. Formula One racing regulations are not just meant to make your car faster with each passing year but they are for the safety of the drivers. These rules are made by the FIA. The rules are also intended to make the sporting event more enjoyable. Even though Mercedes is currently second in the constructors' rankings and George Russell is only one position behind Charles Leclerc in the driver's standings, the margin between Ferrari and Red Bull remains noteworthy. While narrowing that gap will be tough, Hamilton is optimistic that Mercedes has more potential for improvement than the well-oiled Ferrari and Red Bull cars. I prefer to be positive, he remarked. There are still 20 races remaining. If you think about how the sport works in terms of everyone's development, you'll see that the top teams improve at a similar pace and rate. Is this going to be the case with this new vehicle? What are the chances? Is the Mercedes team capable of winning the championship? Yes, we believe that is due to the recent upgrade. Let's take a closer look. As part of the revised technique regulation, the ground effect has been reinstated in Formula One. To generate downforce, you need to keep your car as near to the track as possible. When the Mercedes gains downforce while traveling at high speeds, the ground clearance of the car declines. This is accomplished by preventing any air movement beneath the vehicle, which causes it to lift someone to gain downforce. The automobile then lowers itself, restarting the cycle. Purposing is another term for this. This has had the greatest impact on Mercedes. Its rear wing has received a new upgrade. Mercedes is putting in a completely new actual wing, which will resemble the one used by the team in Jetta but will have a smaller main plane. As a result, the vehicle's rear downforce will be greatly reduced. Here we think that Lewis Hamilton is up to something and he wants to make some changes to the car, for which he is in contact with the respective authorities. I'm hoping we can get into the fight as soon as possible. But for every step forward we make, Ferrari and Red Bull will most likely take a step backward, so it won't be easy. Yes, the chasm is wide right now. However, there is still a long way to go. With Mercedes currently facing pricing issues that have beset the W13 since preseason testing, Hamilton wants the team to focus on finding a solution as soon as possible. While the team's strong finishing rate has put it in contention for the title, Hamilton understands it can no longer rely on other people's bad luck to help it deliver results. He clearly stated that Mercedes cannot afford to wait for another two or three races for potential development upgrades, which is why he will work closely with Mercedes management and sponsor partners this week to see what can be done. He expects to be very busy on Zoom calls as a result of this. He said, we still need many improvements and everyone's support so we can achieve what we want. We can't leave a stone unturned at this point. It's about ensuring that the hunger is genuine and that we make the most of every opportunity. Hamilton is well aware of how much the car's intended issue is jeopardizing the race. That is why he believes that we need to work a lot on the car to top the phenomenon. There's a lot of work ahead of us, and there'll be a lot of calls, Hamilton said of his intentions ahead of the next race at Imola. I'm on a lot of Zoom calls with all of our sponsors and employers, trying to get them to rally. Will these Zoom conversations be about deploying new secret weapons that was already introduced at the start of this year's championship season? After eight years as champions, it was time for some new changes at Mercedes. We can't go through all the new features, but do you want to know them? Then watch our video Mercedes' new illegal features. We explain everything in it. It will be shown at the end of this video so you can click right through. The short summary is that the ground effect floors are back. The front and rear wings have been redesigned, and the car will roll on big 18-inch wheels instead of the old 13-inch wheels. With so many rule changes for teams, assisting in the design of their cars is now a collaborative effort. 
Red Bull got all the attention because the changes to the car were amazing. The side pods, for example, turned attention up and down the pit wall with a heavy monstrous cut that aided aerodynamics. Mercedes, on the other hand, has outsmarted this technology hiding tactic. For the test session in Bahrain, the team was expected to put large designs in their cars. What does Mercedes have in store for us? It's not so much what they bring as what they don't bring. They were able to make their car without side pods, or the belly is gone as they called it. James Allison, leader of the Mercedes technical team, has devised a revolutionary method of mounting the radiators of the W13, resulting in a car without side wings. It would be a vehicle without sides. As a result, the car has a radiator configuration that is both creative and effective. The Mercedes wheel was the focus of the F1 number no. one test in Barcelona. One of the photos taken by the onboard cameras shows Lewis Hamilton pulling and pushing away from the wheel, much like the steering wheel of an airplane. A small image from the morning session caused quite a stir. Lewis Hamilton drags the steering wheel down the straight, reducing the distance between the front axle wheels. Unsurprisingly, there was a long line of people waiting after the race to attend a press conference with Hamilton and Mercedes technical director James Ellison. The latecomers could not enter the conference room. Everyone waited for a reaction to the unexpected news. Allison calmly stated, I'm thankful it's in the car, that it actually works and that it seems useful. The DAS system is a two-axis technology that serves Mercedes in two ways. On straight wheels, on axes of symmetry concerning the car, the car experiences less resistance and therefore expands faster. When cornering, however, the car becomes more stable as the wheels change angles and move outwards. Whether the team is concerned about FIA objections, Allison reacts positively. At the moment, we think Mercedes should be very confident about its development path. While I haven't had much time to think about the implications of the rumored Mercedes solution, explains Mark, the obvious benefits would be associated with reduced body resistance, the potential closer to the center line of the car, potentially freeing up space to innovate in the rear suspension and rear floor work. If the side bolsters were narrowed or even eliminated completely, there would still be components of the cooling system would be needed, and the logical solution would be that one of the advantages of a more traditional placement of the cooling system is that the weight can be kept lower and that it can be distributed more symmetrically around the center line of the car. Advantages of a more traditional placement of the cooling system are that the weight can be kept lower and more symmetrical around the center line of the car can be divided because coolant-filled radiators need to be placed higher and maybe in a more concentrated position. The position, suspension load distribution, and moments of inertia may not be suitable. However, Liberty and the FIA have reserved the right to change the regulations. If and when a team comes up with an innovation that is so beneficial that it conflicts with the intent of the new rules, the new rules would bring the competition closer together in a healthy way. What do you think? Where is the line between healthy innovation and cheating? We hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. We would also like to hear your comments. What do you think would help Mercedes get back into the game? We hope to see you again with another interesting topic and other interesting facts. Thanks for looking.